I'm here with Billy, and this is session number six. And let me tell you what our, our goal for doing this. It, it's not to help you improve. I mean, I've been doing this so long that I'm bored with improvement. When people say, oh, could you help me get better? I don't want to help you get better. I want you to help you have a breakthrough. That's a little different than an improvement. I want you to help you get radically better. And that could happen. I mean, look at it this way. Your whole life, you've been training your body. Most athletes never train their mind. And we're starting to train your mind. So once you have a strong body and a strong mind, you won't just get a little better. You'll get a whole lot better. Now, I have great hopes for our little program we're putting together, but I'm also ready to be disappointed by you. Because, as I said, the five words that will keep you from implementing what we're talking about is, I don't feel like it. So since the last session, did you do any reps? I can do this. I can do this. Start, if you don't start doing this stuff right away, you're never, ever, ever, ever going to do it. Another thing that's going to keep you from doing this is you're a little minnow, a little fish, and you're swimming in a little river, and you're swimming in the river called the stream of sameness. You're just like every other minnow. And once you start doing stuff that they don't do, like you get to the gym early, you stay late, you speak to the coach, and they say, what are you doing that for? See, we are addicted to something called WWOPT and WWOPS. What will other people think and what will other people say? I want you to stop worrying about that. I want you to stop being extreme. I want you to do things that other people won't do. Because if you do things other people won't do, you'll get things other people won't get. Do you think Olympic champions? Do you think Super Bowl champions? Do you, do you, do you think the NBA All-Stars? Do you think they are worrying about what everybody thinks of them? I mean, Kobe used to go to the gym at 3 in the morning, often. So that's what you have to do. You have to get so into this because we're not doing this to improve. I want you to have a breakthrough. So as a student, you have to study more. As an athlete, you have to train more. But you can't just train hard. You have to train smart. You have to do it. And it's not just how much time you put in. Back in 1954... An athlete did the impossible. Roger Bannister was attempting to do something that nobody in the history of the world had ever done. He was attempting to run the mile in under four minutes. Now, not only was he trying to break the four-minute barrier, he was in medical school. He was a medical student. And all of his professors said, Roger, it's, it's impossible. You know, if you run the mile, if the human body runs a mile under four minutes, your heart will burst, your eyes will pop out, and blood would spread out of yours, and you're going to die. Well, he didn't give up on his dream. And on a May day, on a May Saturday in 1954, he ran the four-minute mile. But let me tell you the story behind the story. When we, he was in medical school, and I don't know if you know this, but in medical school, they don't have track teams. He met his college track coach, and he cut a different class every day, and he never trained for more than 40 to 45 minutes a day. That's right. He never trained for more than 40 to 45 minutes a day. He didn't have enough time to. So it wasn't how much time he put in. It's what he put into the time. It's not how much time he put in. It's what he put into the time. So if you go to a movie and fall asleep, are you going to remember anything from the movie? If you go to the weight room and you're acting like you're asleep, are you going to get anything out of your workout? If you're sitting in class totally bored looking at your cell phone, are you going to get You have to be totally, totally into it, physically, mentally, emotionally. You can't just be in school. You have to be into school. You can't just be in a workout. You have to be into a workout. You can't just be in a practice. You have to be into a practice. So for Roger Bannister, it wasn't how much time he put in. It's what he put into the time. He went all out all the time. WWOPT and WWOPS and Roger Bannister wasn't that worried about what other people would think or what other people would say about him. And I hope the same is true for you. You start becoming less, less, less concerned about what everybody thinks and everybody says. Because if you do things other people won't do, you're going to be standing out there by yourself.
and you're going to be a winner. Absolutely, positively guaranteed. Message officially over.